hmm, it's my favorite month, it's my favorite holiday, it's my favorite thing to get in the mail, let's get this video started. Because I certainly can't wait. This is the horror pack for October 2018. Show of hands from the viewing audience. How many of you think or consider Halloween to be your favorite holiday? Let me know down below in the comments section. I love Halloween. I look forward to Halloween all year round. I would love to say that I would like Halloween to take place all year round, but then of course you would lose the appeal. It's like a birthday cake. You would want a birthday cake only on your birthday. Some people would say, I would love a birthday cake all year round. I call you a liar face because you simply can't enjoy something to the same level all year round. It just doesn't happen that way. So patiently, I look at the calendar, September rolls around, then I know October's coming, and then Halloween, and then horror movies. Not that I need an excuse to watch horror movies, but one thing I also get to look forward to every single month Unlike Halloween, which I have to look forward to only once a year, every single month Horror Pack delivers to me a selection of horror Blu-rays and or DVDs. I just happen to so fact go with Blu-rays, but you can certainly go with DVDs as well. Without further ado, I'm not going to wait too much longer yapping away. I know you guys have places you need to be as well, so we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Joining us for this adventure will be Old Red, who apparently has not made many appearances lately. Now these are, I have to stress this, a, a random selection of titles. However, everybody that has subscribed to the Horror Pack, no, I haven't just dismissed the pack, it's still there. Everybody who has subscribed to the Horror Pack will get, in fact, the exact same titles every single month. Why am I pointing my finger as much as I am? We're gonna reach inside, I'm gonna grab one title out, I'm gonna look at it, gonna digest it, yum, 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 and then we're gonna discuss it as best as we can. You guys can let me know down below if you've seen any of the videos mentioned and discussed and shown in the or the four four horror pack titles let's grab the first one here the first one is the ink keepers horror stripped down to its bones says the village voice some guests never check out seems promising let's flip around to the back here oh there's a big sticker right there that's not going to be much help i'm gonna have to cut the plastic off here or whether can i peel this off maybe i'll see if i can peel this off doesn't really matter either way because I know I'm going to end up watching it, but no, nope. we're going to go right to cutting the plastic. And it's one of those cases where it's got that snap, you know, that little, little uh, closure there. I don't like those. I'm not a big fan of those. Just give me that opening, that part where I can just kind of pop my finger in there. I don't want this little doorway. Unless it's trying to tell me something, don't go any bit further. You're about to read up on the backstory the synopsis, if you will, of the movie, but don't go any bit further. That's what that case is trying to tell you. That was what the sticker was trying to tell you. After over 100 years of service, the Yankee Peddler Inn is shutting its doors for good. The last remaining employees, Claire, uh, Sarah Paxson of Shark Knight 3D, I remember that movie, and The Last House on the Left, and Luke, played by Pat Healy, the assassination of Jesse James and Mongolia, uh, Magnolia, I won't say Mongolia, are determined to uncover proof of what many believe to be one of New England's most haunted hotels. As the inn's final days draw near old guests check in and the pair of minimum wage ghost hunters begin to experience strange and alarming events that may ultimately cause them to be mere footnotes in the hotel's long unexplained history. Seems promising. Special features include commentary by writer, director, editor Ty West, producers Peter Folk, I think that's how you pronounce his name, P-H-O-K, and Larry Fassender, Fassenden, and second unit director, sound designer Graham Resnick, commentary with writer, director, editor Ty West, and stars Sarah Paxson and Pat Healy, and the ink, the ink innkeepers, ah, oh, my eyes, the innkeepers behind the scenes trailer pulled from 2011. This is when the movie was made and it runs for 101 minutes, which is also so happens to be the length of time in which the Dalmatians run for 101 Dalmatians. What is this? Cannibal Holocaust. Oh boy. I remember hearing about this one. The Grindhouse releasing presents Cannibal Holocaust directed by uh, Ruggiero Diadato, 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 Diodato. 
Dio Dato, a Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. I don't know how much interest I have to watch Cannibal Holocaust. I, I've heard, of course, horror stories. Banned and heavily censored throughout the world, here's a film that surpasses its reputation as a shotgun blast to their senses. Cannibal Holocaust presents the found footage of four documentary filmmakers who experience brutal death at the hands of a savage South American tribe of flesh eaters. That sounds promising. This footage is so intense, so graphic, and so unflinching in its realism that the director and producer of Cannibal Holocaust were arrested upon its original release and the film seized. Nothing of you you have seen before will prepare you for this uncompromising masterpiece of cinematic nihilism. 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 And even though this movie was not released at this time frame, it's dated 2018 by Horror Pack. I don't know. Don't, don't really know. I'm not sure how further I'm willing to gauge giving this a gander. If you've seen it... Let me know down below in the comment section. What do we have here? This is Exeter from the director of Friday 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the producers of Paranormal Activity and Insidious. An excellent day for an exorcism. Flip it around to the back. At an abandoned asylum, six teens tinker with the occult, causing a possession, paranormal mystery, and a bloody nightmare that no one could predict. From the director of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the producers of Paranormal Activity and Insidious. This was released in 2012. Its runtime is 91 minutes. What else does it have here? It has a digital, free digital copy. And uh, that's it. Doesn't give you kind of bare bones little on the bare bones side but if digital copy is your thing is it a thing to anybody i'm not i'm not really sure but maybe that's the movie for you and last but certainly not least the birds alfred hitchcock's the birds you know it's funny i just finished watching a 10 best um it would have been from james rolf the uh, angry video game nerd just did or i just watched it was old I was kind of binge-watching all his horror uh, movie reviews over the month of October. And he was talking about his 10 favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. I did believe, I do believe, he had listed The Birds as possibly 9? Maybe his 10th favorite film. I think it was the 9th. I've seen The Birds. I've also seen Birds 2 on Stranger Tides, I think it was called. Which was a pale, pale comparison. I believe it was a direct-to-television movie. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds is an unforgettable masterpiece that is considered one of the most terrifying films from the master of suspense. When beautiful blonde Melanie Den Daniels, played by Tippi Hedren, uh, travels to Bodega Bay in the pursuit of an eligible bachelor, Mitch Brenner, played by Rod Taylor, she is in inexplicably, inexplicably attacked by a seagull. Suddenly, thousands of birds begin to flock into town, preying on the school children residents in a terrifying series of attacks. Mitch and Melanie must fight their way to uh, for their lives against a deadly force that cannot be explained or stopped. In this film, that makes you want to hold on to something and watch. That said, that is said by Leonard Maltin's classic movie guide. This was released way back in 1963. Were you around in 1963? Let me know down below. 1963, let me know. Bonus features include, uh, actually, a, a, a plethora of bonus features. Deleted scene, an original ending, The Birds, Hitchcock's monster movie, all about the birds, storyboard sequence, Tippi Hedren screen test, Hitchcock, and Trophet interview excerpts, The Birds Are Coming, or The Birds Is Coming, Universal International Newsreel, Suspense Story, National Press Club, Here's Hitchcock, Universal International Newsreel, and more. Would have been nice, actually, if they had included the second one, although it would have been made by a different, I think it was made by a different studio. Uh, rated PG-13 and runtime two hours. That seems long, but older movies tend to run a little bit longer than newer stuff. New stuff you have to kind of bang, get through there. You need to get out. I need to see a movie. I need to get out. Unless it's a Marvel movie, then it's like four and a half hours long. Let's have a look at all the titles that we got inside for the month of October. Not really any Halloween-themed items. That's a, that's a, a bit of a bummer. 
But uh, this was The Birds, of course, Hel Alfred Hitchcock's. Let me know, by the way, if you've seen any of these movies. Exeter, going to give that a gander. Cannibal Holocaust. And The Innkeepers also seems like a good, interesting watch. If you guys want to subscribe and get the horror pack delivered to your house every single month, I'll put the link down below. Um, just checking again. This is... When are we going? Sorry, bear with me. I'm just actually like looking at the label. I wanted to see if this was the September. I think it is actually the October bo the October bag. If it isn't, I'll just correct it at the top, and then if it ends up being September, may also explain why there's no horror goodies in there, at least of the Halloween variety. Although we did get ourselves Cannibal Holocaust. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Attack of a giant fleet of birds? Seagulls may seem somewhat friendly, but you imagine a whole flock of them. That's some, you're knee deep in it, literally and figuratively, because they, they poop a lot. Hit that little subscribe button down below. I believe it's right over here. I think it's right, it's like right over here. More videos and unbaggings will be coming your way. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.